Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're taking a look at the new Note add-on from LearnDash. Now, you may have seen in the past couple of months, LearnDash acquired two other plugin developers who developed plugins for LearnDash and have brought their plugins into their own portfolio and released these as premium add-ons. So in the past couple of months, we've seen Groups Plus, which used to be called Classrooms, and Gradebook added to LearnDash's own plugin portfolio. What they've done now is release Notes um, as a premium add-on here for LearnDash. And what Notes does is enhance the learning experience by making it possible for learners to take notes throughout the course. It allows them to save notes within any page or, you know, topic or lesson so you can just create a little note box that they can type into and what they can also do with that is share that with instructors on the platform so it also adds a, a, a way that you know instructors can communicate with with learners and create a, a dialogue between them so let's give this a go what we're going to do like any of these is just use the learn dash demo site which you can get to at demo.learndash.com and all you do is put in an email address and then click get instant access and what this will do is create a sandbox environment which has learn learn dash on it as well as some sort of ready-made courses and content that you can have a play around with and it also has all of the plugins and themes and premium add-ons that you can test alongside learn dash so it'll just take a minute or so to, to build this sandbox. But once that's done, we can get in there and have a play with it. So what it does is it creates this platform for 48 hours that you can then use to test out the functionality. So we've got LearnDash here on the left-hand side. What we firstly need to do is head to Plugins and then scroll down and we can see that we've got this notes by LearnDash plugin here, which we need to activate. And now that's activated, what it says here is that notes by LearnDash needs to upgrade the database. And um, so it recommends that you do this first. So I'm just going to click update now. That doesn't take long, that's done now. So what we'll find now is that now we've got that plugin installed, we now have notes here underneath the LearnDash LMS menu item. So let's click into that. We can see a list of notes that have been taken here, but what we want to do is firstly head to settings and just show you a bit about how you integrate this into your course. What happens is you can put into any LearnDash topic, lesson, course, or even posts and pages that are completely separate to LearnDash, one of these short codes, and what it will do is add a note box or a note pop-up that allows the learner to type these in. And they can also see these on a, a, a list of their historical notes. So let's give that a go now. What I'm going to do is head to courses. I'm just going to open that in a new tab and open this Essentials of Healthy Smoothies um, course here. And I'm going to open up the, uh, the course introduction. And what I want to do is add a note box underneath here. So I'm just going to edit the lesson. And we've got the standard editor here. What I'm going to do is copy this LLMS add new note short code here and just drop down a line here and paste that in and then just click update. So you may have seen short codes before. They're just a way to add features into your post just with a bit of code like this. Um, and now that that's been added, that will be replaced with the note box. And you can see here what the notes look like. So you add a title and some content to that. And um, you can use this editor here and add some HTML you know, formatting to this note. So I'll just say uh, an example note here. 
this is my example note and as you'll see you can add some formatting to that and you know add headings and things like that and all you do is click submit and it saves and it says no added successfully notice here you can also notify the instructor so if you wanted to say hi instructor can you help me you can tick that and then submit it and then your notification your, your uh, instructor would be notified of this uh, and they'd be able to see that you've tried to get in touch with them. So that's that bit, that's the basics of adding a note input to a, a page. Let's now look at a different way you can do this. You can, instead of having a pop-up, oh, sorry, a, a, the actual box on the page, you can have a pop-up instead. So let's remove that one and just put in LLMS add new note pop-up and this is a similar thing but instead of having the box on there you have it as a, a pop-up here and um, you know it's a, something that you can drag around here and, and minimize and you know put places but you can pop it open and do exactly the same thing so this is a note from a pop-up and this is the content of the note uh, and then submit and it works in the same way and it's just a slightly different way you can have that on the page uh, that doesn't take up space you know you might want to bury it away somewhere like uh, up here and then I think the idea is that it you know I think it pops up when the page loads I might be wrong or maybe it depends on whether or not it's been expanded or minimized previously but yeah that's just another way you can display that the other one here is a way to show the notes list so you can see a list of any notes you've taken previously on that page or post or topic or lesson so if i put this in here you'll see what this does llms notes list if i view the lesson we can see here we've got my historical notes and it's got the the notes that i took previously but only relates to this page so if i had notes but bo note boxes on lots of different pages this would only show the notes that i'd taken on that specific page and you can see here that i can list the notes i can delete them or download them as a document and anywhere the note the the instructor was notified uh, we can see there so say I wanted to delete one of these, just do that, and that note has now been deleted. If you want to create a, a list of notes where people have taken anywhere on the site, regardless of you know what page or post it's on, what you can do is use this last shortcode here and create you know, put that onto maybe a new page. So I'm just going to call this a you know, page something like um, my notes and paste that in and publish it and if i view that page oops what we'll see and i probably should have given this a bit more formatting because it's gone full width but this page now lists all notes from anywhere i've added them so if i you can see here where it was added so it was on the course introduction page but if I had added notes from anywhere else, regardless of where they were, they would be added to this list here. So the difference here is that the one that's actually on the course introduction that I added only shows the one for you know any that are taken on that page, whereas this notes page would be a full list of any notes that this you know, this user has taken. So that's the basics of how it works let's just quickly go to notes here and you can see here that you end up with a big list of any notes that anyone has taken anywhere and you have the option to respond to those here um, yeah as an as an instructor let's take a quick look at some of the settings as well so if we look at features here 
we've got options uh, whether or not to show an editor toolbar and a character count and things like that. You can disable the option to notify the instructor if you didn't want that at all. And uh, you know, there's a few other things you know, to, you know, that control the way short codes work. You can change some of the wording on instructions, things like that. You can change some of the styling of uh, what well, looks like the, the pop-up maybe here, um, or the notification icons, things like that. So there's um, a few things you can change there, just color, color changes. And you can also change notification emails that get sent to instructors and learners when um, any uh, back and forth dialogue happens. So it's a useful plugin and um, one that um, will help people if they want to take notes on your courses and refer back to them afterwards and open up that dialogue potentially between um, you as an instructor and your learners. So if you find the video useful, if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.